Hey, what's going on guys? For those of you who are returning, welcome back! For those of you who aren't returning, welcome anyways! But, um, it's gonna be a little bit of a story time because what ended up happening to me was my own teacher told me to quit school. And he meant that in a positive way. Well, this kind of blew my mind and definitely is a compliment to me that I will take everywhere I go. Um, but a, a couple of things I want to address first is, um, I want to start out with that, no, I am not that good of artist. So when I say that my teacher said I was too good for school, that doesn't mean I'm the best out there. So please do not come into this video and hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, secondly, like, it, it, the misunderstanding that um, people will have is that I will never claim myself to be a great artist. In fact, I would consider myself an average artist. If you compare everybody in the world currently alive today and in the business and not in the business of art, I am definitely not in the business. Yet. Shut up, Windows! So basically what ended up happening was is that one day I got an email from my teacher. I ignored it completely. Then I got another email from my teacher, same teacher, asking me to come up to show up to his class. Or, um, not to show up to his class, to show up to his office because I have been missing too many of his classes. Don't be like me, I'm... that is bad. He wanted to address the fact that I was missing too many classes and he said that I should be getting a 100 in all of his classes. Now, this class is basically a graphic design class. It was, I believe it was, um, a flash animation that we were doing. Not the cool thing like Disney and whatever does, no. That's uh, boring. No, this is web animation. The really dumb stuff. The stuff that makes you want to, like, see if you can pick, like, part of your eardrum out and then just... Just... <laughs> um, and this was halfway into the semester and he had told me that the stuff I was doing was extremely creative and very well done, and you said that I shouldn't be getting a hundred in all of his assignments. Problem was, is I wasn't showing up to these classes, and so that kind of bothered, that kind of messed with things, and um, which was causing my grade to go down lower. So we had a lengthy discussion talking about what uh, my future would hold if I did not continue to come to these classes. My grades couldn't just start going down. Out of everything else I was doing at the time, I didn't have the time to do it. Between art fairs, artworks, and the videos that I was trying to focus on, uh, I really didn't have enough time to do that part of the class. Not to mention that if I graduated with a degree in this college, I wouldn't be screwed. That's the other thing. This college was so bad, so it was very easy for me to be at the top of my class in that college. Um, but this college is so bad when it comes to artwork that its own newspaper released an article saying that you are better off joining the National Guard than actually graduating with a degree from this college. That's insane. Your own college newspaper is dissing you, man! And near the end of our discussion, uh, he said to me, and I will never forget these words, this was, this was really cool, but he said I should quit school and that he would never, ever tell any of his other students this. But he said that I should quit school because it would be a waste of time for me and for the college and for the teachers. And I was just like, yeah, I'm too cool for you, school. Take that, government um, uh, stuff. I need to redo that with my sunglasses. And so that meant I was too cool for school. <laughs> but after talking with the professor a bit longer, uh, come to find out, he too was an artist. He was actually a graphic designer uh, teacher, but um, he went with it because he was afraid that art, like many other artists, wasn't going to make enough for him and 
he realized that after looking back on what his life was, if he had stayed in what he was doing, he would have been more famous and better. And I saw his artworks, they were great. And they were definitely like the fine art kind of thing. I enjoyed them nonetheless. So it was really cool to see that side of my teacher and have a connection with another artist who was like scared of their own life and what they could have done. And so I will always keep that to memory and uh, uh, work harder and harder every day so that I can actually be the professional artist that everyone looks up to and says, yes, that guy's my man. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more, hopefully.